This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now at Copenhagen at an ID bus event. And behind me here, you see this is the ID bus. Well, actually, I mixed up. This is the ID cargo. The ID bus is the passenger version. The ID cargo is basically the same car, but with slightly different interior for uh, cargo. For yeah. So this is the cargo version. So. Well, it looks just like what you guys have seen it. Uh, maybe some customers want to have this color. <laughs> well, okay, so I have somewhat limited um, possibility to show you the interior, but at least I can show you this. What it looks like, it's been covered. Uh, we have uh, just regular seat here. Uh, nothing secret here, but at least three seats. Uh, but I can't show you too much of this, unfortunately. That's pretty much it. Well, let's let's try that. We have to try the door closing. I have to do it from inside. Oh. Okay. All right. And then, but what you guys want to see is happening in the back here. So, uh, because it's a cargo version, you have doors opening on the side, so you can load, actually you can load two Euro pallets in here, and it has a maximum payload of 750 kilograms. And um, I didn't bring the laser cannon with me, but the length here is actually slightly more than two meters. And also, under the front seat, this one doesn't have it, but uh, under the front seat here, you can put, uh, it's okay. uh, in a different version, not this one, you can open up, and then you can load even longer items. It will go into the passenger side. Um, and then you can load something like two and a half, uh, 2.4, two and a half meter length uh, long items in here. This is just a show car. So the button for the Anhanger Kupplung is linked to... La no, actually it works. Ah, uh -huh, it does work. And you know, it was funny, but the Volkswagen guy told me that you just you have to just kick it in really hard like like it, it's supposed to take the beating like yeah you just kick it in hard I don't want to do it now but there now it's gone GUN and then it would just come out like this just Mercedes style and you just have to click it in place and then here we have outlet I also asked Volkswagen about this. Um, it's a big battery. Do you get any Shuko outlets? Uh, no. Well, I mean, yes, you can have optional Shuko, but it's only 300 watts. And then I'm not sure about the roof, but I guess for the for the cargo, you don't care too much about insulating it here, unless you actually want something that needs to be insulated here. Um, and then, yeah, so here we see securing hooks for cargo here here oh it even says 1.3 kilonewton interesting so we also have on this side uh i'm not sure what that lid is okay i don't know i'm just just picking on the the, the this is probably a pre-production see here we have cargo hooks there i can show it there okay i can show in that side also this is interesting uh, design you see by by law when you open up the back door on any car, you have to have tail light that is visible. It's for safety. So they just designed the door to be like this. <laughs> you know, I recently, I recently tested the iX. The iX is different. The iX door will open up and there will be a second set of tail light when the door is open. But here they just use the same one. Why not? And then, oh, this is of course the open here. I'm gonna show you here. So you can also configure this to have a door. Okay, okay. It will have motorized door, but not this, uh, this mock I was about to say. But you can also get door on that side. It has nothing there, but you can also get securing uh, rails. You customize it, of course. And then here you also have more securing hooks, plenty of them. Oh, there's also even more there. Yeah, yeah, so plenty of securing hooks and quite spacious i get the impression that this could seem yeah it looks similar to um to env 200 space i'm not sure it has around four cubic meter of space and then here i see that this wall 
it's actually not straight. It has this slightly recline uh, position, which is probably more comfortable for the car, for the guys riding in the front. Hmm, okay. But this is the van version of it. Just trying to show you guys as much as you can, uh, whatever you want to see about it. Let me check something. How is it that, oh, oh. oops, <laughs> okay. Now I'm trying to break the, the, the prototype because I did something I guess some people might do, which is to close the door in the wrong, direct, uh, wrong, um, wrong order. So you see, let me just carefully do it now. When you close it in the wrong order, this will happen. So you want to close the right side first, of course. There's a button here to open the door, you see? Yeah, so that's, that's but actually many vans, they, at least, I think it was ENV 200. The ENV 200, you close this side first and you close the other one, but you just have to get used to which side you have to close first. But I want to show you the charge port as the last thing I show you. The charge port, is on the right side. Germans, they like to have it on the right side, but it's on the back of the car. I just at least try to close this a little bit without ruining Okay, this is what it will look like. Is that a good placement? Um, actually, in my opinion, if you want to have it uh, in a car, you want to have it close to one of the corners, which means this close to this corner or close to that corner. And also in the back, you usually don't get that much schmutz. And also you shouldn't get frozen chart board. It actually has some rubber seal here. That's good. And it has this butt plug here. But of course you don't need the plug for the type two because normally when you open. So, so yeah, and there's a light there. So is this a good placement? In my opinion, uh, yes. Except for that I haven't seen the car driving through winter, how dirty it gets, but it's just mechanical and it shouldn't at least freeze over. Uh, the worst placement would be somewhere like here or here or in the front. So yes, but anyway, okay. I think this video is long enough. Now you guys have seen it. The ID cargo, not the ID bus. I keep saying the wrong thing, but uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be it for now. Unfortunately, I can't show you too much yet, but eventually when we see the production car, I can show you more. So that's gonna be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.